Welcome to Sawdust and Wood. My name's Chris. Today I'm going to teach you how to find inside and outside angles and how to transfer that to cut baseboards or crown molding or any other trim material you need to cut. I want to walk y'all over to the miter saw and show y'all exactly what I'm doing when I say let's say for instance I have a 90 degree angle it's acute and I know I need two 45 degree cuts so right here is right on the zero that's a perfect right angle so when I want to cut a 90 degree corner I need two 45s so I just rotate over so I get the 45 and it locks in and I take my wood that I'm going to cut. Hold it tight against the back right here. Really tight. If you don't hold it tight and flush and to the, push it down, your miters are not going to be good and tight. If you got any bit of play out with the wood, if the wood's leaning like this, your miters are not going to match up good. So if you're having issues, check these two things. And I'll make one 45 on this side, then I would swing all the way back over to the 45 degree here. This is our first practice piece. We can pretend this is a wall corner and we need to cut trim to go around around it. So have my angle finder zeroed out hold it straight all right now we're reading zero now I come around the angle I'm gonna show you what it's reading 90.1 all right so I know my angle was 90.1 the point run is insignificant so we'll call it a 90 degree angle and that's what all your wall corners should be sometimes they're off a little bit but so 90 90 degrees so any angle 90 degrees or less is an acute angle now to, to make the cuts for that you just divide that number by two and set your saw on that so for 90 it would be a, a 45 cut and another 45 cut degrees so I'm going to set my saw to 45 degrees and I'm going to make one cut. Then I'm going to cut it. Cut it off. Then I'm going to swing it over to my other 45 degrees. cut it off and then we'll see if it fits. So what I did was I cut two 45s degree cuts to make a 90. Alright so I have my two cuts. Let's see how accurate it was. So this would be your baseboard. You would line up. You would line it up just like this. Get out of the light so you can see. There you go. That's a 90 degree angle, split it by two, 45 degrees. All right, so let's recap what we just did. We had, we measured our angle, it was 90.1. You can take that point one off and you got a 90 degree angle. 90 degrees divided by two equals 45. Any angle 90 degrees or less is an acute angle. All right, on we go to our next angle. Now let's do the inside. Let's do the inside corner. Here's your wall running here, and you need to put some trim on the inside. So I got my angle finder already laid out on there, and it is reading 110 degrees on that angle. So there's two ways. Now this is an obtuse angle because it's 
90 degrees or more. I'm gonna show you two ways to figure out your cuts on an obtuse angle. So, 110 divided by two equals 55. 90 minus 55 equals 35. 35 degrees on your miter saw. And there's another way to do it too. The angle's 110. You put 180 divided by 110 equals 70. 70 divided by 2 equals 35. Now, depending on who you talk to or who you watch, one person may do may use this way to do the math, and one person may use this way to do the math, but they all come up to the same. So 110 degree angle, it's obtuse, any angle that's obtuse, you can use either one of these two math formulas to figure it out. Let's go over and cut. All right, so over on the miter saw, we determined that we need two 35 degree cuts for the 110 degree angle. So I'm gonna move my saw over to 35 degrees. Get it here. Lock it in place. One thirty five degree cut. Now I'm just going to cut it in half. Right here. I'm going to move my saw thirty five degrees again on the other side. Now this should fit our angle, two 35 degree cuts. Let's go check it out. All right, we're back to our angle now. We got our two 35 degree cuts. I'll put one in place, the other one in place. And as you can see, it's a perfect fit. All right, let's come over to our third angle and it's another obtuse angle and out of the four angles we're going to cut today, I picked three of them to be obtuse just because people normally struggle and have a lot more questions with obtuse angles. So let's see what we're reading on our angle finder. I've already got it there. We are reading 135 degrees. So now remember there's two ways to do the math for obtuse angles. Here is the first way. 180 minus 135 equals 45. 45 divided by 2 equals 22.5 or 135 divided by 2 equals 67.5. 90 minus 67.5 equals 22.5. Let's go over and cut this. Alright so we determined we had a 135 degree angle. We did the math. We know that 135 is obtuse. We know we need two 22.5 degree miter cuts to make that work. They're going to be inside cuts, by the way, because we're doing inside corners. I forgot to mention that in the, the previous um, step two, the second miter we cut. So 22.5 on my saw. And I said this in my other video if you watched before, the 22.5 is a common setting on miter saws. So 22.5. Cut my piece in half. This is another 22.5. So, two, two 22.5 cuts. Let's go and see how it works. All right, back at our make pretend wall right here. I'll take my first piece, 22.5. Get it right in place. Take my other piece, 22.5, and we will fit it in place. And they fit perfect. 
can't get both hands on it because I'm holding the camera with one hand, but that is two perfect miters to complete that angle. Here's the math again. Both ways that I come up with that cut. All right, we on to our final angle, our fourth angle, and I'm sure y'all know how to cut obtuse and acute angles at this point. But let's do one more angle just to make sure y'all got it. Got my angle finder on this angle, and this is an inside angle. 125 degrees. So, I already did the math for us. Let's go over the math. Remember, there's two ways to do it. Here is the first way. 125 degrees divided by 2 equals 62.5. 90 minus 62.5 equals 27.5. That's your cut on your miter saw, 27.5. The other way is 180 minus 125 equals 55. 55 divided by 2 equals 27.5. Same cut on the miter saw. Now let's go make those cuts and check to make sure it fits. All right, we're back at the miter saw. So we had a 125 degree angle and we did the math, it's obtuse, and we know that we need a 27.5 degree cut on our miter saw. So I'm gonna take my saw, go to 27.5 degrees, lock it down. First cut. Just cut the piece in half. I'm gonna go to the other side. It's 27.5 degrees. I'm gonna make that cut. Two 27.5 degree cuts. Let's go see how it measures up. All right, we're back to our wall, make pretend wall angle. Take the first 27.5 degree cut, put it in. Take the second one. And comes out perfect. Thanks for watching today. I hope everyone learned how to cut obtuse and acute angles on a miter saw. Now you ready to lay baseboards, crown molding, anything with angles that you need to do. Um, remember for acute angles to divide by two and it'll give you your cut on a miter saw. For example, if it's an 80 degree angle, divide that by two, it's 40 degrees. Two 40 degree cuts on your miter saw. On our two angles, use the two math formulas I showed y'all, and there's nothing to it. Just remember something. You could do this. Get out there, get some wood in your hand, get your saw, and let's cut some angles. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and drop a like.